Thank you very much. We can have a seat here. Rick Nelson, we're going to uh, continue with the Tonight Show. We'll talk with Rick right after this brief commercial pause. Very nice. Thank you, sir. Very nice. Thank you very much. Welcome back to the Tonight Show. Rick Nelson is here, along with Franklin Ajayi. And uh, Kurt Thomas, it's a real pleasure for me to meet you because I spent a lot of my time watching you on uh, your show and so forth, and I'm uh, very, very impressed uh, with you being here. Thank, Thank you, you so much Thank for that. For um, let me ask you about uh, where you're living now. I guess you moved out of mom and dad's place. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, and, and is this possible that you purchased a home owned by Errol Flynn? Yeah, well, it was a house that, that he uh, built uh, off of, uh, you know, right here overlooking Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Or the valley, really. Is this, I, I now, to my way, I think an Errol Flynn's house has got to be enormous, huh? It's, it's, uh, it's good size, you know. It is. <laughs> How big would that but, be? Uh, Do you know, like in square feet? <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. No, it's, uh, I know he built it around, I think, 1938 or 9, something yeah. like that. And, uh, it's kind of interesting because my dad used to grow play tennis up there at his house, you know, and my mom said, uh, I know when it was in the escrow and stuff, it was his favorite house, you know, mm -hmm. and I didn't, I didn't, I hadn't realized that, you know, but it's, uh, it's got a real good feeling and it's, you know, got a lot of, a was lot of pool he, there. He, uh, um, I think was an unusual person or we were led to believe he had a rather colorful life. Do you, do you have any, uh, a lot of mirrors? Uh, mirrors are there? <laughs> Where would, uh, like on the medicine chest, mirrors there or... <laughs> No, there's a there's a mirror over the bed, you know. Uh, That's unusual. <laughs> <laughs> it is for me. I can't, yeah, I, I would never yeah, get one. Yeah. yeah, I got one up in the garage, but that's as close as I never get to stick on this one. <laughs> Dangerous. You know? And are there uh, secret passages or any of that? There are. Yeah, there. Uh, there's, it's a room now, but it used to be a sun deck, and he used to uh, have a little hole there, and he'd look into the living room and be able to see who. Who was there, you know. So he always had a pretty good idea of folks coming and going? And yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah. Do you get the, are there tourists still? Well, I guess now maybe there would be tourists coming up there to see you, but uh, do you still no, get... No, nobody writes me. <laughs> no, you don't get letters? No, I get, yeah, I, I had a couple. <laughs> <laughs> what a pathetic development this is, ladies and gentlemen. Um, no, what? it's, uh, it's, it's kind of uh, in its own area, so it's, it's pretty well protected in mm -hmm. that way, you know. Fairly well secluded? Yeah. I just uh, put a bid in. I'm kind of keeping my fingers crossed. I just put a bid in on the old Bob Eubanks place. So, uh, <laughs> hoping that goes through. Um, Got a lot of secret passages. Oh, I'm sure Bob would, yeah. And buzzers and horns and uh, yep. bonus rounds and things like that. Um, uh, it, now, when, when uh, I first became aware of you, it seemed like you, you broke into the music um, uh, uh, part of show business right after Elvis Presley did. Yeah, I did. I was well. I was 16 at the time. Yeah. And uh, uh, I got to know Elvis, and it was really nice because I got to be in on the whole beginnings of rock and roll. Yeah. You know. And uh, I went to Hollywood High School and regular school. You know, <laughs> happens to be in Hollywood. But uh, <laughs> they have mirrors on the ceiling there. <laughs> on the wall. <laughs> well, did you know uh, Elvis at all? Did you guys... Uh... I got to know him very well. Yeah, I really did. And we uh, we were real good friends. We used to play uh, football games together. You know, mm -hmm. he'd, he'd have teams, and I remember he and I used to go out and play, uh, you know, just to have some exercise, you know, and uh, over at UCLA there. And uh, so he invited us to come and, and play his team. And we drove down to this park and drove by these guys that, I mean, they had uniforms and they were Elvis? serious about yeah, it, you know. Yeah. And we're going, no, that can't be. <laughs> no, really, yeah, warming up and everything, doing the whole thing. And uh, so we played, and it was like the Rose Bowl. Or you know, I mean, people were flying through the air, and it was, you know, it was a serious game for a yeah. while. It went on and on and on. <laughs> Did, um, uh, how old was he now? If you were 16 at, around this time, how old was that? I think he's uh, about five years older. Yeah. Did you become... Just casual friends, or did you ever socialize? Or no, we, no, I, no, I socialized a lot with him, and I got to know him real well. And uh, you know, when he'd come into town and stuff, and uh, I liked him a lot. Yeah. I really did. Was he easy to talk to and hang around with? And Very easy. It was an, a good thing because it was like we, we could really relate. You know, I mean, nobody had anything to 
to uh, prove to each other or they were, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And, uh, did your parents like him, or did they say you stay away from that Elvis? He's oh no, no. Yeah. Yeah. sure. Yeah. Like uh, now this other song that you're going to do is there uh, something we should know about this before we, uh, you? Well, get into it's, it? it's, it's from my new album. Okay. You know. And uh, okay. what's the matter? Hmm? The brown. Oh, this one. Oh, I thought maybe someone had swiped your guitar. I... <laughs> The name of the album is uh, Playing to Win, and this particular selection is here, off yes, the album. Yes, it is. And, uh -huh. Terrific. It was written by Dorsey and Johnny Burnett, who were also friends of mine. Oh, yes, the Burnett brothers? Mm -hmm. Okay, wonderful. I but, believe what you say. Believe? Believe what you say. Believe what you say. Rick Nelson, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm.